Brandeis University is in the northeast part of the United States, in the state of Massachusetts, just outside the city of Boston. So it's very close to Boston, about 15 kilometers outside of Boston, but also far enough away that the campus is a place of its own. Students live on the campus most or nearby the campus, but they can get into Boston as well. There are about 3,500 undergraduates, and those undergraduates study a wide range of subjects. We have subjects in the sciences, with particular strength in neuroscience and biochemistry, with also programs, of course, in physics, math, biology, and the life sciences. We have a wide range of programs in the social sciences, in public policy, economics, political science. We have programs in the humanities, philosophy, English, history, other fields of that side, of that nature, as well as studies in the performing arts, theater and music and art. So we are what's called a liberal arts college, meaning that there is study in all fields of the sciences, social sciences, humanities, and the creative arts. Students can explore a wide range of fields and are not expected to settle on a particular focus of study until several years into their study. So the first year you would be expected to take a range of courses, and by the second and third year, you begin to have a focus, or sometimes several areas of focus. Students will double major, and often those double majors will be in fields that are very different. So I will talk to students who are majoring both in business and in biochemistry. And you can tell what they're thinking of doing is going into industry that's going to involve science and technology. Or there will be students who are majoring in biology and theater. That might be somebody who's intending to be a doctor, uh, but has a great love for, for theater and literature. And so it's really an opportunity to explore, explore a broad range of yourself and your own interests, as well as to study in a wide range of areas. I'll just add one other thing that makes Brandeis a little unusual. Besides being a relatively small liberal arts college, we are also a research university. So that liberal arts college of 3,500 students is part of a university that includes a graduate level business school, a school of public policy, and master's and PhD programs in all of those fields that I mentioned before. Altogether, there are about 2,000 graduate students, 3,500 undergraduates, and students come from 116 different countries on the Brandeis campus right now. 12% of our undergraduate students are international students, and 20% of our student body overall are international students. So it's a small school, but really a microcosm of the world, from students from all over the world, and with a wide range of subjects being studied and taught and written about by our faculty. Just give us a broad overview of some of the things that are considered uh, when Brandeis decides whether to admit an applicant from India in particular. And, and are there sort of basic SAT scores that they have to get to be considered? The, um, the best starting advice to find out information on the admissions process, and I'm sure you, you already have thought about this, but all this information is available online now and is very easy to get in a way that when I was applying to university was not. It was much harder to get access to some of this information. So if you go online to the Brandeis website, brandeis.edu, and you go to the how to apply page, the admissions page, we'll walk you through all the things that you have to do. The things that we look at include the standardized tests that students will take, uh, and we do expect a high level of performance uh, on the SATs or the or, or equivalent uh, placement exams. I wouldn't say there are specific numbers that I would that I would throw out because it's one of the factors we look at. But we are very selective. We do expect a high uh, high high scores on the SATs. We look very seriously at the performance, academic performance from your secondary school, as well as recommendations from teachers, which often gives us a very good sense of how well you'll be able to perform at a school like Brandeis. And you'll be asked to write an essay. And the essay is likely to be something very different from what you've done. We give you a number of different topics. Some of them are relatively 
um, straightforward and serious. Uh, some of them are designed to be fanciful. Uh, one year the question was, if you were a dinosaur, what dinosaur would you be and why? And of course the purpose of that, there's no right answer, there's no wrong answer. We want to see how you think creatively, we also want to see how you express yourself and how well you're able to write. So all of those things are looked at and taken into account. We'll get between nine and 10,000 applicants a year, that's a big number. But it's not so very big that we can't give very careful attention to, to all of those applications. So when you're asked to put together an essay, you should take that very seriously. Real attention will be given to that. Uh, the last thing I'd say is that there are, as I said, uh, a large number of international students who we're looking to admit. As I said, the overall in the undergraduate population is 12%. The current first year class is 15%. So we don't have any quota, we don't have any cap. We're looking for the best students we can get. I was asked uh, yesterday by some students uh, do we have a limit on the number of students from India? Absolutely not. The fact that I'm, I'm here and that we're here for a, a week with my colleagues uh, touring and looking at uh, institutions here should make very clear that we think that there is a very strong connection between Brandeis and India. So we're looking for as many good students from India as we can get. Here's the last thing I would tell you to think about. The students ask me, what should I write in the essay? What should I say when I'm talking to people? Here's the thing to think about. How would you describe the way in which the university will be different because you came there? Right? What, are you, what are you going to do, what role are you going to play so that on the day you graduate four years later, people say, you know, the reason the school is different now is that this person did this. It could be in music, it could be in theater, it could be in the labs, it could be on a stage, it could be on the playing fields. It could be one of the 250 student organizations a student run. What's the role you're going to play in the school? And that may be a very different way of thinking about an application from anything you've thought about before. Uh, it's really a very personal way of thinking. You're coming to this community to make a difference. How are you going to make that difference?